Hello everyone, well it's that time again to see what's in the advent box. Well, what's this? Simply science, build your own vacuum cleaner. How fast can you make your mess disappear, it says. It really works. Ah, quick, they're coming. You weren't meant to have tidied your room by now. Clean up with super speed and whiz through your chores with this self-build vacuum cleaner. You'll have your room spotless in the blink of an eye. Kit contains card, outer body, electronic components, rubber band, and instructions. You will need two AA batteries. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Get all the parts out. Right, let's put that to one side. Okay, so in this kit we've got what looks like um, a battery box and a tiny, tiny little motor. Let's take it out of this bag. Well, with the motor that size, I don't think it's going to pick up very well. So, here's the, the heart of the system. Very small motor. The battery box with an on-off switch. And what else have we got? We've got the instructions. Build your own vacuum cleaner. Instructions for use. And, well, how's this going to work? Do you know, I think there might be something missing. Oh no, pops not. Ah, oh. I was going to say there's no fan, but it looks like <laughs> I have a feeling. I was expecting the fan to be plastic somehow, but I have a feeling that possibly that piece of cardboard could be the fan for the vacuum. So, so let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got that piece. Another piece of card. Well, this, this is supposed to be a vacuum cleaner. Right, I'm going to follow the instructions. Let's have a look. Oh, dearie me. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh. I don't like following instructions like this. I was never any good at doing this. Okay, anyway, start by pulling the fan clip and holder off the end of the motor and put safely to one side. Well, this must be the, the fan clip and the holder. Right, I see. So I'll put that safely to one side. Two, right, we can put that to one side. Now, place section two, coloured side up. I think this is section two. I've got to turn over to see section two. Ah, oh, no, hang on, this is section two. And that's coloured colour side up. If you call grey the colour. But it doesn't look no, it doesn't look like <laughs> Oh dear, this is gonna be an absolute disaster of a video, I think. <laughs> Play section two. Now <laughs> according to the instructions, this is section two. Oh, all right, place section two, coloured side up, onto the blank side of section one. Let's move everything out of the way that we don't need. Blank side of section one. I think this, that says vacuum cleaner on it, is section one. Uh, yes, it is. Right. Place section two, coloured side up, onto the blank side of section one. Oh, I hate these instructions. Right, it's that way. So, coloured side up. <laughs> oh, dearie me. This is going to be a long one, folks. I think I'm, I've already got dread. I've, I just, it's, right, I think you bend it. This is very poor instructions. Looks like it's, you bend it. How do you, oh, it's absolutely, you know, Ludicrous, folks. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to show you. I think I might be abandoning this video somehow because 
Knowing me, I'll get so frustrated with this, I'll, I'll have a little, little fit. I'm just trying to do it according to what it looks like. The, the pictures. Now, oh, now that can't bend because, no it can't. It looks a bit like that, on that they fold that up. Can't even see if you can see what I'm doing because I can't. I can hardly see my viewfinder from here. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Now. Oh right. Top tip: use double. Right. This is ridiculous. Who makes this rubbish? I don't even have any double-sided sticky tape. This is made by Fizz. Creations.com. You need double sided sticky tape. Well, you know, it doesn't say you need double sided sticky tape on the box. Go. Oh, I haven't got any double sided sticky tape. Who has double sided sticky tape this day and age? Honestly, it's not Blue Peter. I'm just going to have to put it like that and, and hope for the best, folks, you know. Oh dear me, I just want to give up now. I just want to... <laughs> oh, oh dear. Well, you're supposed to stick this, okay, with some double-sided sticky tape onto this section by the looks of it. And then you've got to put batteries into this bit and then that goes there. And then the motor somehow goes on here. Do you know what, folks? <laughs> This is, I can't do this in front of the camera. I just, I just can't, sorry about that. What I'm going to do, because, you know, this is an advent video and it's with, we're quite near Christmas now and you would not want to hear me saying naughty words. Because if I'm a bad boy, Santa won't come and I've, I've given him a great big long list of vacuums. I'm gonna to have to find something that equates to double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna to need to get my batteries out now I'm going to need to get a tiny screwdriver to open up the battery box. What I will do, possibly then, is just do each section. Pause the camera while I'm doing it. No, I can't even do that, loves, you know. Sorry about that, folkies. Oh, you're disappointed. I'm not going to assemble it. Well, as I said, I can't. I'm going to assemble this off camera, folks, for you. And then show you the finished result and what it picks up. I'll get my polystyrene balls out because, judging by the cardboard fan, I can't see this little vacuum cleaner being much competition to any other vacuum cleaner I've tested. I expect even little Henry desktop vacuum will trounce this one in a, a vacuum contest. Right then, I'm going to pause. Okay, well, I think I've managed to do the first part. That's to stick this grey bit onto that. And then I've got the batteries inside the battery box and the motor does actually work. Like that. So now I've got to place the battery box inside here move that out of the way oh and oh no it's that way that's the way and then the motor goes that way and the cable sort of I don't know where the cable's supposed to go just down by the side there's a bit more cable here than there is actually in the illustration then we'll fold over Connect tabs one, two, and three with slots one, two, and three. <laughs> Do you know this is a lot of trouble? I'd rather just buy a ready made vacuum, wouldn't you? Hey? Eh? But anyway, this might suit. Uh, let me just pull my chair in. This might suit someone who likes building things. But that's not me. <laughs> I used to like Lego. I used to like building things with Lego. I probably did build Lego vacuum cleaners. Right, there's a little, it's a little hole where we need to push the, the switch through. That's it, right, the switch has gone through that hole. Now the motor's dropped out. I'm already becoming a bit frustrated. 
Right, see now that there's too much, there's too much cord, so I'll have to sort of tuck that in. Right, now, I should have folded these tabs over first. Oh, should I just, I'll just pay for someone to, to, to put, put it together. Ah, I hope, hopefully this will all come together and it'll be fine, but the motor's already making a bid for freedom. I think it'll be stronger when it's pushed together. You see, this is no good trying to do this on camera. Well, look at that, it's got some uh, built-in, well, a picture of a dusting brush and a hose. And it's the oddest looking vacuum I've ever seen, I can tell you. The tabs aren't really going in, but look, let's just... <laughs> oh dear. Sort of close up the end. I'll probably end up ruining it. Oh, that tab should be in there. Right, you get the gist, folks. I've got the motor and battery box in. The switch sticks out of here. There, look. And, uh, hang on. <laughs> Doesn't work anymore. I have to do what Rusty does. I was watching a, a video of Rusty's today actually and he was fixing his Hoover steam mop. Oh there we are. He was fixing his Hoover steam mop and he was doing the, the things that you should do to... Oh my camera's wobbling. Oh, oh well I've got to put this on. I haven't time to do another video today so... Oh you'll just have to see the amateur. Amateur unedited Roger. Sorry. Got to give you a video every day, haven't I? So you'll just have to you'll just have to have this one. <sighs> right, um, as I was saying, Rusty was trying to fix his Hoover steam mop, um, and he, he did, did did the things that you should do when you're trying to fix something. He diagnosed, you know, he did some fault finding and uh, tweaked and. When that failed, he just started hitting the, the pump for the steam mop with a screwdriver. And in fact, it did actually make it come to life. So if all else fails, folks, when you're trying to repair anything, just hit it. And you never know, you never know, um, it might, just might work for you. I always find, actually, a little prayer to whoever you worship whether that be God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, Katie Price, I don't know, whoever. Just say a little few words and say, you know, please make it work for me. I've done that many times, you know. I, um, I well, I normally talk to my dad when I can't, so actually I'll do it now. Dad, give us a hand. My dad, who's no longer with us, who I learnt a lot from, didn't realise at the time, and you never do at the time. I was, I was my, oh there we go, thanks dad. I was, um, I was the gaffer, well, not the gaffer, what do you call them? I was the, the, the bloke in a double act, um, who just did the, the fetching and carrying, the dog's body, that's the word I'm looking for. I was the, my dad's dog's body whenever he did any DIY around the house. I had to hold the torch for him. I had to fetch tools for him. I basically just was fetching and carrying. But I was also watching and learning, so I've got a lot to thank my dad for. That's still not... Why is it not working out of... Oh, heck. Oh, thank you. I did say, I did say a quick prayer, silently. So yeah, I, I speak to my dad a lot, who I'm sure does listen, and he does respond. As silly as that might sound to some of you. Okay, so that's sort of in place. It's sort of working. Close the lid over the motor, making sure the triangular flaps on each side of the lid are tucked in, and the arm of the motor is poking out through the end. Oh, tabs 26, 27, 28, 29 should be left out. Ah, oh, so those tabs. <laughs> you see, the trouble with this is you have to turn the instructions over to see what tabs you're talking about. So, oh, 
crikey. Right, okay, I see what they mean. I see, right. Right, folks. Wow, look, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Let's, let's clear the decks for you. Oh, it's like, like some sort of spaceship. Do, do, I don't even know this. Do you know I don't even know the Star Wars theme? I've never seen it. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, is that the Star Wars theme? Ooh, it's like a, it's like a thingy. Um, I, I know the Black Beauty theme. Do, 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 do. Da 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 do 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 I'm sorry. Here it is. <laughs> Dare I flick the switch? Vacuum cleaner! Look at it! What every little boy and girl wants in their Christmas stocking this year. They don't want one of those Hatchimal things that everyone's after. No, they want a, a, a vacuum cleaner made out of cardboard with a faulty switch. All right, I'll try and get the switch to go. There we are. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wow, the suction is amazing. Right, let's see. Let's see if it picks up or holds this bag. <laughs> oh, well, it's broken. I, I've broken it. Right then. You, I, I know only, only the very, very hardcore fans will be watching now, so I can do basically what I like, because nobody's watching. If you are watching now, what is wrong with you? Do you not have a life? No, same here, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I quite like my life at the moment. It's not, it could be better, but it's, not, oh, it's a lot better than a lot of folk, I suppose. So my, we must count our blessings, especially at this time of year. Being serious, there are people far, far worse off than the most. If you're watching this, you've at least got some technology to watch it on. A lot of people don't even have that, so. We must count our blessings. Right, I'm just going to get something to try and demonstrate this with, and it's going to be the poly balls, which possibly will end up coming straight through if it picks them up at all. So I'll just pause for a moment and get something to demonstrate this on. Right then, I've got various sizes of polystyrene balls. Now, these will be the lightest, but they're also the smallest, and these will pass right through. These are probably big enough to not pass through, but they're not gonna show up very well on this red cloth. And then we've got some multicoloured, different sized ones. They all look big. Um, I don't think they'll pass through. So, la -de dum. I think I'm being a bit. I think I'm being a bit uh, optimistic. They're sticking with static to my fingers. Right then, shall we see? Let, who's taking any bets? Is this going to work? It's all right, I have a real vacuum on standby if I can't clear this mess up. I don't know if sure. Let me just, no, I can't zoom in. I can't even get to my camera. Right, let me just try it. Once I get the switch to work, right, the switch is on. Right. Oh, no, that, I think that was my breath. Oh no, it's the fan. The fan is blowing, unless I put the fan around the wrong way. Oh, oh my Lord, look. Well, <laughs> It's spitting it out. No, it, it was doing so well. It's, do you know what I've done? Do you know what? <laughs> but it's doing what I thought it was doing. The, the bits are just going straight into the fan and they're just rattling about. But I might have bent the fan blades the wrong way because it's blowing. <laughs> oh, Lordy. It's blowing. But hang on a minute. Do you know what? Oh, that! <laughs> oh dear! Oh, how has that happened? Oh, it's sucking from this. <laughs> it's sucking. It's sucking when it should be blowing. It's no. It's sucking the air through here, 
And so all I've done is I've made myself a blower look. Well, it blows very effectively. Oh, when I can get it on. Yeah, it's a blower. <laughs> How's that happened? Oh. Well folks, I've finally put it back together. The fan is the right way round, but I thought to give it a fair chance, I've boosted the battery power. I've added twice the number of batteries, so the motor might sound a little bit different because it's, uh, I've boosted the power. Let's see if I can pick up any of this using my Build Your Own Vacuum Cleaner Kit. Wow, well it certainly works. Definitely worth the m What? What do you mean cheating? <laughs> Look, I wouldn't cheat you, would I? Of course I wouldn't. I do what? It's not... No, well, no, I'll come clean. It's a pile of junk. I've been using this. Can you see? Look, ooh. Sneak peek. I've been using this Vax. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to clean this tabletop. That Vax I've just um, briefly shown you is coming up next year. <sighs> oh, oh, and the camera's moving now. I've, I've broken it anyway, folks. The fan is already, I mean, absolute. I thought, to be honest, this wouldn't be quite as bad. I mean, you yeah, know, obviously, I've done it wrong. The fan should go that way. I couldn't get it to go. This kit would be better if they provided a plastic fan like this, fully formed plastic fan that can take, look, it's just, oh, it's just falling to bits. I mean, the fan's probably being damaged by just being on. So here we are, happy Christmas. So that's the end of my very successful video, Simply Science, build your own vacuum cleaner, it really works. Yeah, well, it doesn't work, and even if it did work, it wouldn't work, if you know what I mean. If you've bought one of these for someone, I'm sorry you've wasted your money. I wouldn't advise buying this. What, what a load of rubbish but I am probably going to throw this away because it's well it's no good I mean the fans broken but I will keep oh, what a waste of money I hate wasting money but I've wasted my whatever it cost 10 pounds might be nine pound I think there was 10 percent off that was ridiculous you can buy this from Debenhams if you want to Amazon sell it I believe or any of your shady retailers I'm going to keep the motor because you never know, what's gone wrong with that? Oh here, you never know when a little tiny motor with a battery box might come in useful. So at least that works and it's quite, you know, it's quite a good little motor, I'd say that. It's a shame that the rest of it is just cardboard and absolutely ludicrous, but I'll keep that. I'll salvage something from this car crash of a video, keep this. But this is going to go into my cardboard recycling bin for the local council to collect next week. Thanks for watching folks, bit of a rambling long one. I've, I've gone on to a second SD card. There'll be a lot of editing needed. It's still going to go on for far too long. Shut up Roger, it's going to go on for far too long if you keep chatting. I know it has. Well it already has gone for far too long. Yes I know it has. But Oh, crack it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to put this on. I'm sorry. I've, I've tried to keep a standard up, but this, this, I've absolute fail to try and build my own vacuum cleaner. I'll just stick to buying ready-made ones. What do you say? In fact, one idea for you, parents, if you're looking to buy a vacuum and your kiddie wants to put it together, 
Buy a cheap own brand supermarket handheld rechargeable. Probably pick them up for only a few pounds more than this heap of junk. Take it, to, take it apart. Present it to your child on Christmas morning with a screwdriver and say, here you are, build that. Far better. Or just give them it fully built and let them play with it. Because I think toy vacuums as well, this is not a toy as such, but you can buy little toy vacuums, I've reviewed them, but they're not very good suction wise. So you're better off buying a rechargeable, as long as you sort of supervise your young vac fan, a rechargeable vacuum is going to be no more dangerous for them to play with than a mains one. You just keep, uh, sorry, than a battery one, just keep the charger and everything away and you charge it up when necessary and they can have fun picking up bits and pieces and helping around the house rather than just don't buy this, don't buy it. Thanks for watching. I'll have, I promise I'll have a better video for you tomorrow. I've got uh, my day off so I'll, uh, I'll be producing something worthy of the Ibasiac name. <sighs> Thank you for staying with me this long. Bless you for that. I know I've lost most of my audience by now. Even if I get through to just one person. Don't buy it. I implore you. Right. Happy Christmas. It's coming soon. I'll wish you a happy Christmas near the time. But happy Christmas to you anyway. If, if you've decided to leave me now. I, I, you'll take away the biggest part of me. <coughs> Please don't go. Goodbye. I'm going for a lie down now. See you tomorrow.